What is up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are talking about the latest news. Got a couple of stories I wanted to bring to you that doesn't sound like at the beginning that it's sort of related to gaming, but I'll tie it in, I assure you. So the first one deals with Miss Teen USA. Now, I... I'm not a big fan of pageants. I normally don't watch them unless I'm watching like a um, like a videotape of maybe one of them saying some stupid answer for a question they had, or if one of them fell down the steps or something or tripped on their dress. Don't really get into pageants. I'm more of a natural look type guy. But anyway, there was an interesting story that came out of Miss Teen USA this past week. Miss Cassidy Wolf, 19 year old native from California. She was just crowned Miss Teen USA. Four months ago, she realized somebody had been trying to get into her Facebook page. Somebody from out of state had tried to gain access to it. Now, shortly thereafter, she received an email from somebody claiming that they had hacked her webcam and had caught her doing things in her bedroom that people do when they think they're alone in their bedroom. The person who hacked her tried to extort her, trying to say, look, if you don't want these pictures coming out, then do this and this, and these pictures will never see the light of day. Now, instead of giving in and being scared that the pictures might eventually reach out, she, of course, went to the authorities. And now she is traveling the country, telling her story, and warning other teenagers about cybercrime. Let me tell you about another story just happened in Texas. Both of these stories coming out today, um, there was a family who has internet webcams uh, and uh, they have uh, baby monitors in their baby's room. Uh, and the, the baby monitors were, they had a camera on it. Of course, they have a microphone on it as well as most baby monitors do. And they are connected to the internet. So the parents have the ability to see the baby as well as hear it. Well, all of a sudden, they heard the other day somebody talking in the microphone, and they were talking to the baby in the bed. Apparently, they had looked on the wall, somebody had hacked into the baby monitor, read the baby's name that was posted on the wall, and was saying stuff like, hey, Allison, wake up, you little shit. Like, just bizarre stuff. They walked into the room, the parents did, and they said the camera actually turned around to look at them. Now, the dad immediately unplugged it and started researching to find out that, yes, of course, these can be hacked as well. So, lesson of the day, yes, anything with a camera and a phone could potentially be hacked. And it's scary, especially when you think you are in the privacy of your own home to know that somebody could possibly be watching you. And I think it's stories like this, just these two that happened today in the last 24 hours that really give credence to, you know, the possibility of something eventually happening with Xbox and the Kinect. And so I think Microsoft did make the right choice by giving players the ability to disconnect the Kinect because it's better to be safe than sorry. And so for some people, they would like that little extra added benefit of being able to disconnect it. And I don't think that it's necessarily a tinfoil hat conspiracy theory whatsoever because it happens. And things do happen with cameras and microphones. And so just be aware, the next time that you are looking at your laptop uh, or you know, you, you've got a webcam pointed at you, know that you may not be alone. And so usually, you know, I might be a little paranoid, but sometimes I do turn my webcam completely around where it can't even be seen. Suppose below, let me know what you think about this story. Do you think it's scary that you could be spied on and not even know that you're being spied on? Post below, I'll leave links in the description box to these stories, and you can check out more on VGNVideoGamesAndNews.com. If you want the latest news and announcements, be sure you stay tuned to this channel and also check me out on Twitter and Facebook. Those links are in the description box as well. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.